Subtitles. Turn them on. Welcome back to One Stable TV. And you should do Irish Couple Reacts. And do stay tuned because this happens every week. So if you're new here, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of these videos. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you. So today, quite a few people asked us to check this brand new video out. And this is Bangladesh Military Museum. This is the most expensive museum of Bangladesh. So we've seen a lot of you guys that have jumped into our comment section from previous Bangladesh videos and reactions and suggestions you guys asked us for. So without further ado, we'll jump straight into this for ourselves and you guys. Let's go! Oh, this is inside the whole military go. जदुघर राजधानी विजय शहरी एकर जैगे गढ़े तोला सामरिक जदुघर टी সাজানো হয়েছে একেবারে আধুনিক ভাবে যেখানে প্রযুক্তির সামরিক বাহিনীর দক্ষতা ও সক্ষমতা আছে বাঙালির জনযুদ্ধের বীরত্বের দুর্লভ উপাদান এই জাদুঘরের সবটুকু তুলে ধরবো শেষ পর্যন্ত দেখতে থাকো Big museum. Yeah, the size of it. Yeah, you said it was a bit interactive as well, so that must be what them screens are. Yeah, that makes sense. All the military belts and chapters. शिक्षा केंद्र हिसाब আধুনিক সামরিক জাদুঘরটি গড়ে তোলা হয়েছে আর এর জন্য ব্যয় হয়েছে প্রায় 276 কোটি টাকার মতো এই জাদুঘরে আমরা যতটা সময় ছিলাম একটি বিষয় ছিল এখানে লক্ষণীয় এখানে যারা এসেছে তারা সবাই তরুণ তরুণী আর তাদের ভেতর ছিল দেশের ইতিহাস ঐতিহ্য এবং সামরিক বিষয়গুলো নিয়ে জানার অধীর আগ্রহ जदुघर सज्जित कर प्रजुक्ति प्रेमी जदुघर टी मुग्ध कर That's a, that looks like a destroyer. And there's a cannon. Oh, 
Almost looks like a little aquarium in it. Yeah. অত্যাধুনিক জাদুঘরটি আমাদের সশস্ত্র বাহিনীর জন্য একটা মাইলফলক হয়েও থাকবে তাছাড়া আমাদের মুক্তিযুদ্ধের ইতিহাস এবং তরুণ প্রজন্ম তারা যেমন উদ্বুদ্ধ হবে সম্মুখ জ্ঞান পাবে আবার যারা মুক্তিযুদ্ধে অংশগ্রহণ করেছেন বা দেশের জন্য বিভিন্ন সময় সশস্ত্র বাহিনীতে কাজ করেছেন তাদের জন্য একটা প্রেরণা আসবে এবং তাদের একটা আত্মতৃপ্তি হবে I really like museums when they have the interactive part of the two. So, you know, when you can kind of almost see, like I said, they're exploring a warship and when it has the whole like 3D version of it, that's pretty cool because you're never going to know what it was like before that. I don't know, it just brings a lot more authenticity to when you're actually in the museum. Instead of just looking at the replicas, you can see what it was like walking around. And uh, the replicas in this museum are very well built. And um, I think it's really cool the shots they've done there of where they show the retro ship to a more modern day battleship, just how far we've come through history. And not only that, the way they have the soldiers propelling down all the mannequins and everything, just to give you of like what it's like from going into battle. And the holographic part of the museum really brings the place to life, both for the warships and not only that, the aquarium feel and look. And I don't know what it is. I just seen one of the, one of the women there going through and touching the yeah uh, one of the warships is that something everyone does when we all go to a museum because i find myself doing that for some reason you just feel like you have to touch the sculpture or something like that like it's like you're connecting more with history so come on guys we go back in and watch more of this Struggle to independence. Bongo and Oh, look at that. That must be part of the peacekeeping part of the gallery. Looks like it. Looks like Star Wars. Oh, that's, uh, that looks like the navel. That looks like a pencil. <laughs> the little one. Pencil missiles. Oh, multi This is a lot of stuff in that museum. Yeah. Be lucky if you got a coffee shop in Irish Museum. That's like the equivalent of a whole shopping mall there. In Ireland, you'd be lucky if you got like a little coffee stand. <laughs> এবার একটু পিছনে ফিরে তাকাই সামরিক বাহিনীর গৌরবময় ইতিহাস সর্বসাধারণকে জানাতে 1987 সালে বাংলাদেশ সামরিক জাদুঘরে যাত্রা শুরু হয় মিরপুর সেনানিবাসে পরে 1952 সালে বিজয় সরণিতে বঙ্গবন্ধু প্ল্যানেটোরিয়ামের পাশে স্থানান্তরিত হয় যা সম্পূর্ণরূপে সংস্কার শেষে আন্তর্জাতিক মানের স্থাপত্য কীর্তি রূপে যাত্রা শুরু করেছে <laughs> oh, look, there's all the flintlock pistols. The old pirate weapons. Back into the now. 
They look like they're from the 1700s. They look like they're made out of wood. Where are they? Yeah. Wooden hands. I was right. Scimitars. Ooh. They have like all the ages of military in there. That's why it's called a military museum. <laughs> Ireland that just goes from a weapon that was robbed from the British and then a Horley. <laughs> Look at these cinema halls, like these are crazy. Mm. Like just how big the whole space is. It's sad that our best museums that are as good as this are to do with alcohol, not actually history. <laughs> well that is our history. Yeah. Whiskey. A big museum? I know I've said that already, but like it literally, it really is a big museum. It's a whole like mansion of a museum. Yeah. Even have the classic cars in Top of the range. Oh, that's cool, they don't look the same. Yeah, they made like a whole battle scene for Yeah, it. yeah that's really good. And if that was ordered, there'd be like a, a point for it in a bear man. <laughs> Is it the mountain bike again? I think that's the peacekeeping again. Mm. Can anybody even fit into that? That is tiny. It looks like a one seat up there. Mm, oh, I like that the way you done that, yeah. That was a good flip. I'm trying to look down. I know, I just thought <laughs> my head was full on, right? Yeah. That's cool, though. no matter where you are in it, you can look down and see the, uh, the exhibition still. Yeah, you can always see like the 3D cinema realms of it. Oh, there's an Evo badge as well. Oh, that's the outside. The layout. Yeah, that's cool. Even the layout outside is like huge. That's a nice tree. Can you get you one? <laughs> yeah. Give me the home museum. Plants are very militarized, alright. Plants are ready to collect knowledge. Oh, oh. No, there you go. Let's kill me. Yeah. I don't know why I couldn't think of the war there. Oh, that's a good show. Oh, we end on the waterfall as well. Oh, I would like that. Let's kill. That was a nice. Was nice so yeah. first off, a very big shout out to the original content creator. Do make sure you go check them out, give them a like, subscribe and share and all that good YouTube stuff. Very big shout out to the narrator on this video and the cinematographer or photographer, whatever way you want to call yourself. Brilliant shooting, brilliant editing and great information told in this video. 
Um, thanks so much to everyone in the comment section that did suggest this to us. I feel we walk away known a lot more, um, definitely on the historical side, but also understanding what it's like to actually be there in the exhibition in, in person. If you have been to the exhibition in person in this video or you visit this museum, wherever you're from in the world, you don't have to be just from Bangladesh. Uh, of course, let us know what your experience was like. Does this video do with justice? Is there anything you wish the video would have shown or did it show everything in its entirety? What did you think of that, Danielle? So thanks everyone again for suggesting this to us because we are learning a lot about different militaries and things like that. So it is nice to see um, a quick you know overview kind of of a museum that's there i like the way it's laid out as well it's well what it seemed to be there was it was like the army the navy the un peacekeeping was all on different floors yeah that's cool so it kind of just brings you in the full like time lapse kind of thing of what happened and um, i like the way the the interactive stuff is there too and the 3d cinemas so when you're walking around and seeing all the sculptures and all of the reenactments of the scenes um, it's nice to see also that you have the information written on the wall for you, but you can also go and interact with the scenes too. And it shows you as well how it was actually in real life. So make sure to put your subtitles on. And also, it isn't subtitled throughout the whole video. Um, it is through a good bit, but not the whole lot of it. So there might have been some information we missed. If there is, let us know in the comment section below. Thank you. Of course, let us know, did you learn anything today? Or what part of the exhibition was your favourite? The Mine personally was the holographic part. I love that. What about you, Daniel? Yeah, I like the interactive ones myself. So if there's anything you want to tell us further about this we might have missed, or if there's anything at all that you want us to check out about this museum further or react to, let us know in the comments down below. And that has been our two cents, and we will chop ourselves out of so as always, you are the beautiful people of YouTube and we have been Unstable TV. So drop a comment below and let us know what you thought of this reaction video. And if you have any suggestions for us to do, let us know too. And as always, we will see you in the next one.